So this will be the last sale that we do on Parlay for a little while. We have too much speed! And these are extreme conditions. This was not forecasted. It's just too rough. Those type of experiences will make you alive. If we hooked up on a sail fish or a marlin right now. Woo! Jeez. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Morning everyone. So we are here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. And um, I have made a last minute decision to go fly home to New Zealand um, to spend a couple of weeks with my family. I haven't been home in six years. And my brother just had a baby, so I wanna go meet my nephew. Um, the timing's good because a lot of the crew are away right now. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, go spend some time with the family. And we're going to sail down to Golfito because uh, we've got a really good relationship with uh, Michael, the marina manager down there. So it's just a really safe place for me to leave the boat. So this will be the last sail that we do on Parlay for a little while. So we've put together the A team. We've got my uh, former business partner, Ben. He's going to come give us a hand. Um, and Christian, who owns a surf and fishing charter company here in uh, Flamingo. Um, he's been a long time follower of the channel. He's, I think he's watched every single episode um, So I'm I just bumped into him surfing in uh, Playa Grande I just thought it'd be cool to invite him to come along because he's he really enjoys what we do and he wants to do the same thing one day But um, I reached out on Facebook for someone to look after the dogs and got an overwhelming response but there was one guy that stood out his name's Curtis and um, He said he could look after the dogs for a couple of weeks that's the crew. Let's get going. Um, we got about 227 miles to go. Let's go pick them up. Come back, come back, come back. Think of the weather right now. Well, the weather is way better than a big uh, inside our office for sure. <laughs> what about we the waves? The waves are a little high, yeah, the weather sucks, but it's really, really nice to be here and with you guys. Yeah, we can wait for what's around the corner have to offer. Let's see. <laughs> My mind, I don't think this is a mahi. I think it's a tuna. Look at the pool, mahi jumps. Yeah. I think we have a tuna, bro. Can you keep the speed like that? There's no way to turn into the wind and pull in the jib. Man, we're, we're gonna have to put everything down, Colin, if we wanna land this thing. It's a yellowfin tuna. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, babe. At least 30 pounds. Whoa. 
I got, I got you, I got you. Okay. Oh, look at that thing! Just got me here! Got him! Yes! Woo! Bring it on, bring it on! Quick, we need to be quick! Yeah, boy! Woo! Like, that's the difference between us and the sports fishing boats, is we got all the sails to deal with. So it's like 20 knots out here, big sea state, we get the, we get the tuna on, and I'm trying to hold the boat into the wind, but not so much that everything's just flogging like crazy. We had a bit of a struggle there, just controlling everything. So it was 100% all hands on deck. But to catch fish like this on a sailboat while you're sailing at eight knots, I think that's a pretty good achievement. By the way, that that reel and that lure was given us to uh, given to us by John at uh, Monkey Business Fishing in uh, West Palm Beach. Cheers, brother! So much tuna. I'm gonna have some sashimi. Good. Whoa! What's this? Sashimi alla parlay. Sashimi alla parlay. Ay mi man. Buen provecho. From the sea to the hook, to the hook, to the knife, knife, the to the mouth. <laughs> to the mouth. <laughs> Sauce is good, huh? Soy masabi with garlic and a, and a touch of love. Okay, so I've just finished the first watch. Uh, we are absolutely hauling ass. We've got 13 knots on the beam, and we're doing about nine and a half knots. We must have a current behind us because uh, yeah nearly 10 knots from 13 knots of wind doesn't really make sense but we're not complaining we're putting some miles in the bank baby so it's just gone past midnight and these are extreme conditions we've got 20 knots from right behind us right at like 160 to 180 degrees and we're doing a solid 10 knots Pretty high alert right now. Brittany's up there right now. Everyone's been doing really good on their watches. I've been sort of catnapping on the couch here with Linda. Uh, but the guys have been waking me up at the right moment. So they wake me up when it's over 15 knots, and they did. And they crept up to 20 knots, so we were on, you know, pretty high alert then. Um, I can't really film anything. It's dark, but so we've been doing 10 knots. It's every hour we're doing 10 miles, so we're just cranking some distance out right now. This isn't for the faint heart, this is heavy conditions. I'm gonna go back up top. What a night. This was not forecasted and definitely a lot gnarlier than what we had hoped for. Man, the forecast said between like 10 and 12 knots true so when you're sailing downwind that ends up uh, giving us a boat speed of about four knots and we've averaged about nine knots so we've come twice as fast I just can't sleep when it's like that this would be seriously good fishing um, opportunities right now but it's just too rough if we hooked up on a sailfish or a marlin right now um, we would be in we just have to fucking deal with it, but. The boys! <laughs> How was that last night? I was, I feel alive. I was super rough. So rough. Three meter of wave. We can see shit. <laughs> Super cold, but those type of experiences will make you alive. I feel really good, you know. You feel I good? Think, I feel good. I feel, I feel like good. I've been hit by a truck. Yeah, <laughs> my spirit is 100%. How's your watch been? Shit. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Feeling of like 
you are tired and everything but when you are in somebody else's hands just with the cells and not the motors it's a great feeling So we're jumping out of the air. Big ass sailfish. Let's do it. We don't actually want more fish. We got the smallest little lure on this. In case you catch like a bonito or something for the dogs. Watch out, watch out, go, go, watch out, watch out. I can straight up and down. Forward, forward! <laughs> This is happening because this guy is here. <laughs> and this guy never be on a boat, never been, he don't know anything about fishing. And when you don't have any expectation of fishing, the fishing are biting. When you are a fucking annoyed with the fish, the fish are asleep. When you don't put any pressure, any attention, boom, 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 shellfish release and yellowfin tuna. Woo! <laughs> He's, he's gonna think this is normal now. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was sailing, we just caught a sailfish. Yeah, let's go fishing. Like a a to man, like a, man, this is hard. This is people pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to try to have at least one yellowfin tuna with <laughs> Captain Boots. I'm not the captain of the boot, but I'm a captain of fishing <laughs> channels. In case you wanna go fish with me. Something. <laughs> 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 So look, some parlor, we don't drink under passage oh, except we've got an allowance at sunset. We have a beer. We watch the sun go down, even though it's overcast. We can imagine the sun setting. Cheers. So the others are sleeping, so you snooze, you lose. Everybody. So we came in um, and I anchored right in front of Matapalo. Matapalo is one of the, in my opinion, one of the best waves in Costa Rica. The mission to get here, there's no cell, cell phone services, no stores, no nothing. It's so remote, so wild. This is fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we live for, brother. Yes, it is. How's boat life been so far? Oh, it's been great. The sailfish was awesome. That's the first time I've seen one in her life. Yeah. The colors on that thing, the blue and purple, were so cool. Oh! Shit! It's firing! There's already two guys out. Oh! Who's more excited? Are you excited or what? <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna make sushi tonight. We've got all of this yellowfin tuna. I didn't know this about Ben, but he knows how to make sushi. So he's taking control of the sort situation. Of. First things so first, we need to hear about this fork fork story. What happened? So he was just cleaning some dishes in the back and a fork fell. And I just make a huge mistake. And I say, hey, 
If you find the fork, I buy you lunch. You know, whatever, we go back to Golfito. So after 30, 40 seconds, he just show up with the fucking fork. Like, hey, look, I found the fork. So what are the chances that I lose my bet? 90, 90.999%. So I don't know if he's fucking with me and he just jumped with the fork. That could be a chance I didn't see, I'm impressed. So just to reiterate, we drop things all the time. I've dropped a, a pan, like a frying pan, and jumped straight in, and in like 20 feet of water, and we've not been able to find it before. So that the fact that he found a fork <laughs> at a surf spot mm -hmm. in murky water, in 40 feet of water, on the first go, yeah. is it's ridiculous. After 10 minutes, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And because he take 10 minutes, he's not like he jumped right. <laughs> like, oh shit! No, he's like. Uh, whatever, <laughs> you know, finish my coffee, I want to listen to some music, and you chup, boom, boom. <laughs> Living the dream, but we're, <laughs> we're all like zombies right now. <laughs> oh, we're exhausted. Anyway, same again tomorrow. Yeah, that I look hot. Yeah. Stunning. <laughs> One second. Hey, baby, how are you doing? <laughs> so we made it to Golfito. So I'm going to leave the boat full of fuel. If you leave it half full, which it is now, you can get condensation inside the fuel tank and uh, you get water in your fuel. Lista? You should also open up your wallet. I just read an article of Costa Rica that. gas prices yeah. just went up again. It should have filled up because when? Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, of course, last night. They just, <laughs> hit, they just hit a new high, guys. Say two dollars per liter. Two dollars a liter? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Christian picked this up off the deck. He's like, hey, what's this? I said, oh, you can throw it out. He said, are you sure? He said, you can do an episode about this. <laughs> what, did, what did you say? Well, man, just fix it. Like, you can, you know, if, fucking sandpaper this thing and then just paint it and put it all together. You maybe spend two dollars getting a new one, but because we are so rad and cool, we want to spend a hundred dollars fixing this little stick so we can clean this boat. So next episode is how to waste 90 dollars to make us looking fucking rad. So, so thank you, subscribe, okay? And if I can fix this one, you owe me a hundred dollars. Thank you. Oh shit, we just saw a massive croc next to the bar there. Oh, 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 oh. As soon as he saw us, he ran into the water. What, did he already get you? Yeah, he's swimming away. There he is, right there. Curtis has jumped on a paddleboard, he's coming straight towards him. Careful, bro. Oh, he sunk down. He's coming towards you, though. I'm, I'm serious, he's coming straight towards you underwater. Just imagining him just going, chomp. Hey, <laughs> no swimming around here, boys. So we made it. We're back in Golfito. Um, we're just getting the boat ready to be sort of left for a few weeks. Curtis gets along well with the dogs, the dogs love him, he seems like a really, really good guy. So um, I've got no worries there either. So here we go, tomorrow I'm going to New Zealand and I haven't been home in six years so I'm so freaking excited. Um, main thing is to meet my nephew, he, it's, he just looks so cute in the photos so to meet him in person is going to be amazing. So tune in next week for that and uh, we'll see you there.